in this video we will write a program to identify different types of data types that are supported by the company and the purpose of this program is to find out sizes of various data types first of all i am including some header files as include sdio.h as include conio.h and then i am writing my program main function clr scr get ch now printer first we start with the character data type size of a sign character is equal to percentage d in order to find out size of a data type we need to use one operator and that operator name is size of operator size of to this operator we need to pass the name of the data type then it returns size of that particular data type in terms of bytes so i am passing Signed cat the next one printer size of unsigned cat is equal to percentage d so to output the statements in line by line i am using a backslash n here new line character size of Unsigned character. Now we see the output. The size of signed character is equal to one by. Similarly, size of unsigned character is equal to one by. Similarly, in this fashion, we write similar. Uh, we write. We, we try to find out that uh, size of other data types also. To save the time, I will copy these statements. So, in order to copy, we need to press. Control after selecting the statements, we need to press Control Insert, them. and then to paste them, we need to press Shift Insert. Them. So I am writing here size of signed short integer, and next one size of unsigned short integer. So I am formatting these statements so that uh, we see the output in a neat fashion. So here, size of in place of signed cat, we need to write signed or simply short integer. Here also, we can write signed cat or simply cat. Both are same. Here, unsigned sorry. Here, unsigned short integer. So again, we see the output. So size of signed and unsigned short integers are two bytes. Similarly, in the same fashion, we find out size of other data types. Size of signed integer is equal to similarly size of unsigned integer is equal to. Here we modify caras signed integer, or simply we can write it as integer and unsigned integer. Similarly, I will write for a long integer size of signed long integer is equal to similarly size of sorry size of unsigned long integer is equal to here I will I will modify that so size of Long integer here, here size of unsigned long integer. So we check the program. The so size of uh, integer is two bytes, both signed and unsigned, and and also size of long integer is four bytes. Now coming to floating point data types. Printf. 
size of the flow data type is equal to percentage D so I am formatting them so that uh, they look in a neat fashion the size of a float is equal to size of a float similarly I am copying this particular statement to copy control insert to paste shift insert here I will modify float as a double size of double is equal to size of double and similarly and one more last statement but long double size of long double is equal to size of long double so we run the output here so beginning with the character data type so character data type size is 1 bytes of memory and for a short integer 2 bytes of memory and for integers 2 bytes of memory for long integers it is 4 bytes of memory and for float it is 4 bytes and for double 8 bytes and long double 10 bytes now the sizes of this uh, data type they vary from uh, compiler to compiler which we are using i am using 32 bit compiler so that's why i have got uh, these memory sizes if you are using some other compiler like 64 bit etc then the size of this data types may vary so in this fashion we can write a program to identify the data types so what we have learned in this video so we have written a program to identify the memory sizes of various data types to find out sizes of the data types we have used one operator the operator name is size of operator it takes the data type name and it returns size of that particular data type in terms of bytes.